For physicists who work at particle accelerators, energy is very important. Even the name of the field of science that we study, high energy physics, tells us that energy is really central to the sorts of things that we need to know. What we do in the experiments that I do is we collide beams of protons traveling at nearly the speed of light. When these two beams collide, energy gets converted into particles and they fly out from the collision point. Now, we actually can't see the particles easily. What we need are huge detectors, like the one we see right here. Um, the particles then enter the detector and we have to somehow figure out what that means. The way this works is if these particles might run into atoms of the detector and when they smash into them, when one comes, goes in, several come out. So you may end up with one particle hitting an atom which goes to five particles, which goes to 25 particles, goes to 125 particles, and very soon you could have hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands of particles marching through the detector. Now the technology for the experiment that I have, um, these charged particles cross atoms of, for instance, plastic, and what happens is they shake the atoms and these atoms give off light. Now we can't use light to understand what's going on, but what we can do is we can use bits of equipment, for instance, like this piece of electronics here. The little things you see right there, these little bits of equipment, they take in a light and convert it into electricity. Once you've converted light to electricity, then you can send that information into electronics. It'll convert it to numbers, and with numbers, you can send it to computers. So that's sort of the, the chain of events, from a collision to a computer. And using that, we will be able to understand the mysteries of the universe.